All right, how's everybody doing this evening? Uh, we've got Major Lauren Schlichting, call sign threat here with the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds. She is Thunderbird 4. Major, y'all just flew in, uh, gave a little show with your survey flight in Cocoa Beach. How was that? Uh, it was awesome. We are so excited to be flying on a Patrick and flying on Cocoa Beach. Uh, we love over water shows, so we cannot wait for the weekend. So now y'all had a little flyover before that too, up at KSC, I guess. Yes. Yeah. We just flew over NASA for uh, the main building and then the Falcon. All right, now um, for this weekend, so you're in the diamond. What's your favorite part of the show? Oh, I have to pick just one. Okay, go for it. Pick okay. them all. Okay. Um, unfortunately, since it is a deployed show, you miss out on the ground show. Um, that's one of my favorite um, parts of the show. So unfortunately, you miss out on that. However, uh, it is over the water. So for us, it's like smooth as glass. Um, so anytime we're over the water, it's amazing to fly. Now for this year, this is gonna be my first time seeing you all this year. Is there anything new that you're doing in the performance? Yeah, so if you haven't seen us since 2021, so we were here in 2021, if you haven't seen us that show, um, in 2020, the whole show got revamped uh, and it's a new kind of sequence of events with narration and music, uh, so it's pretty exciting. All right, now this is your second year with the team. So last year, what did you do before? Uh, so last year I was Thunderbird 3 right wing and then uh, the normal progression is to move from the slot from the right wing, so I'm Thunderbird 4 in the slot. Right, now pre-Thunderbirds, what did you fly? Uh, prior to the Thunderbirds I was an F-15E evaluator instructor pilot. Oh, very nice. Um, now, I know there's other people that want to answer or get some questions answered from you. Um, there's going to be a bunch of kids sitting on the ground looking at y'all all weekend. Um, and I always ask this to everybody. What would you, what advice would you give them if they're like, I want to do that one day? And what would they study in school? Kind of like that. So I was that kid. Um, I was a kid at eight years old, coming from a non-military family, going home to my mother telling her I wanted to be a fighter pilot, which is very non-standard. Like, How do you know those words? And I was like, oh, I learned from astronauts today. Um, and I think the big thing is just, you know, not from the military family at all whatsoever, kind of paid my own way in the military. It's just find your passion. So whatever you want to study, uh, whatever you like to study, study that really hard. Whatever you, activity you like to do, do that. It doesn't have to be anything specific. As long as you find your passion uh, and you work hard at that, you naturally have the motivation to work hard uh, and kind of achieve whatever you want to achieve in life. All right, well, thank you so much. We're looking forward to your practices tomorrow and then, of course, the shows this weekend. Thank you so much. We're excited to be here. I'll show you quick the F-16. So it's a standard F-16. Um, last year was actually the first year that this specific Jet 362 was on the Thunderbirds. It got painted last year, so it's the second year on the team. It was a normal combat Air Force F-16 prior to that. Um, our F-16 is very similar to a combat F-16 with minor changes. One is we took out the gun and the canister where it holds the rounds and we put a 55 gallon oil drum in it uh, and then runs the lines from that oil drum into the back and I'll show you how we get smoke. Uh, otherwise, the outside side the red, white, and blue is exactly the same. Uh, the oil lines run through the water and the lens and they pop out here. Then we have a switch in the cockpit to turn it off, turn it on. Thank you so much. That was pretty cool. Yeah, those are walk the around. Things. Now, as far as controls inside, pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, we have a few panels that are moved around based on what we need. Yeah. Um, a few added switches. So we have a smoke arm switch, we have a smoke switch. Uh, but other than that, it's the same. Right. Very cool. Thank you so much, Major.